What's up, peeps? Thank you for tuning in. So recently, while I've been streaming, a lot of people always come and ask me if I'm still using the linear aim response script type or is dynamic better, which one's better. But I think there's a lot of videos and I've done plenty of videos comparing both of them just by talking to you. But today is gonna be a video unlike any other you've seen on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna have linear on the left-hand side and dynamic on the right-hand side, and we're gonna test both the hipfire and ADS. And I really found some surprising results in here. Let's jump right into this video. So I've got it edited in Premiere, and I've got it to the point where the second I've moved one frame, both of the aims start moving, all right? So we're gonna start off first with a hip fire. I did lower the sensitivity. The settings that I had for this was 5.5 five sensitivity, and I did lower it down a little bit just because uh, a little faster sensitivity wasn't gonna be able to appreciate it that much. So I lowered the sensitivity down a little bit, and that may also have to do with my testing, which I'll explain something a little bit later. But let's start off. We're gonna zoom in here just to make sure we get the best of the best here. Um, as you guys can see, the second I move, it starts moving. So both start off, what I did was from my middle analog stick, I moved it all the way to the right i didn't do uh anything to the middle i did it from the middle point all the way to the right as if i was move, trying to snap on somebody as far right and as we can see again linear is on the left hand side and dynamic is on the right hand side all right and i just want to see if there's anyone that moves faster than the other and as we can see here it seems like dynamic did have the little faster start like if, if we fast forward it a little bit here we can see that by this point linear is barely aiming at the door here which right in the middle and we can see that dynamic is aiming all the way almost at the window here so not that big of a difference but it is moving a little bit faster and it was probably because of that initial speed that dynamic does have and if we complete the point like if we go ahead and we and we circle all the way around until we get back until the end we're going to keep scrolling right over here so keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling let's see who gets to the helicopter first and as we can see here see dynamic definitely got there way faster but again what we're talking about here is a matter of frames, right? I mean, this is one frame. So we're literally talking a couple frames different. And again, like if we do a full turn around uh, by, the sec by the second turn that is coming here, it's still pretty much the same, right? It is still the same distance that it has. So it's not like it ke keeps increasing its speed. It's like that first initial um, advantage that it had, it keeps it throughout the whole aiming process, all right? Now let's go to the second test where I did the same thing but while ADSing and as you guys can see once that frame moves both of the aims start moving at the same time and again I did the same exact thing where I moved my analog stick all the way to the right to see what happens so first again remember linear is on the left hand side and dynamic is on the right hand side and we start moving a little bit a little bit to the right and we can already see a little bit of a build-up speed here uh this one's a tad bit in front not as far as front but let's go ahead and see what happens if we move a little bit all all the way to the right to see what happens once we get to this house now once we get to this house it's basically the same i mean you know it might have been a fraction of a second difference but we can see they're both aiming in the same exact spots here so when you're adsing that difference is not even i mean it's not even significant at all and if we go ahead and do the full turn around here if we keep on turning around and turning around again here we're at the same exact point we keep turning around it's exactly the same and once we're almost at the end here again we're just going frame by frame to see and dynamic did seem to get to the helicopter just a little bit faster but again that may be just because my aim wasn't exactly on point or Again, just a little tad faster, right? I did stop almost at the helicopter in the other one, so that might also be the reason, but once we're approaching to the helicopter, Dynamic, again, does seem to have the edge just by a little bit, um, but again, that could be due to the fact that I aim maybe a little bit up or anything like that, but again, we're talking about fractions of differences here in a full 80 turn. So what have I realized? I've realized that I think once you are in the higher sensitivity, you're definitely gonna notice it maybe a little bit more um but as far as this 5.5 we can really tell that there's really not that much of a difference you know whether you want linear or whether you want dynamic i mean we, we can see i was testing it side to side again like aiming both left to right trying to spot a difference but it was just really 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 hard to spot a difference you know but again even after this video i will stay true to linear because again 
what dynamic does, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, it has a computerized system that when you start moving your aim, whether it accelerates it, whether it decelerates it, and then it gets back to normal speed, there's a computer system doing something to that aim to prevent that initial mistake. And linear doesn't have any of that. So at the end, if you really wanna perfect your aim and you don't want any computer system involved in this, I'm still gonna have to say linear is just the way to go Again, just if you want to be sure that what you're doing, what your aim is aiming where you want it to. But at the end of the day, based on these results right here, I really don't think there's that much of a difference. I think the biggest difference doesn't come when you're strafing from left to right and doing huge movements. What we can notice from this is that the biggest difference do come when you're making micro adjustments to certain things. And that's why I would prefer with linear. Linear, when you go all the way to the right, it stays at that same speed throughout the whole motion. Dynamic, as you guys saw at the beginning, that's why it went a little bit faster in both the aiming and the hip fire. It speeds up a little bit at the beginning, giving it that edge. So at the end, I would like to have my sensitivity true to everything I do, whether it's full to the right, whether it's full to the middle. So we can see here that dynamic and linear really does affect it more. And you can really see it more when it comes to those micro adjustments, aiming left to right, trying to snap on enemies. And like I said, I'm going to stick to linear because I don't want any computer system aiming, messing up with my aim. And ladies and gentlemen, but again, I did this so you guys can see what you prefer. So based on these results, which one are you going to pick after this video? Peace out, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one.